Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel where I talk about all things Teslas, electric vehicles and renewable energy. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Please take a moment to hit that red subscribe button and that way you stay informed of any new content and it also helps my channel to grow. Today we're going to talk about the new software update 2020.24.6.4 in our Tesla Model 3 including real-time side repeater cameras while you're driving and also parking. Parking. All that and much more right after this. Alright guys, so like I said, it's a big update and there are five aspects of this update which I'd like to touch on today. The first one of course is the backup camera improvements, which is the big one I'm looking forward to while we go for this drive. The second one is dash cam viewer improvements and that's the ability to quickly go to an event signified by a red dot on your dash cam viewer for sentry mode and dash cam. The third one is improvements to the TuneIn app. It uh, is more user friendly, including the fact that you can now listen to podcasts up to two times speed. The fourth one, which I'm very excited about too, is the walk away door lock improvements. It means that you can set home as an exclusion, which means that if you park your car in the garage, the car will not lock itself because it knows it's home. And the last thing I didn't cover last update is the ability to use your scrolly wheel on your steering wheel to play, pause and skip through content in theatre mode. So I'll come back to backup camera when we go for a drive a bit later on. Okay, so now in sentry mode, you can quickly go to an event as opposed to having to scrub through the uh, sentry mode clip, which isn't very good anyway when you're scrubbing through. So now you can see there's a red dot on the sentry mode viewer and all I need to do now is to drag the cursor or the marker right there. It's not the most sensitive uh, viewer, unfortunately, but I can drag it right there and um, I can watch all four cameras and you can see someone there on the left camera, so I can click that straight away and you'll see that this gentleman here next to me is uh, getting into his car. So benign, but it does show up as, a, uh, as an event, so I can quickly scrub to it as opposed to having to watch the whole clip. That's quite handy, I think. So the next thing I want to talk about is the TuneIn interface. Uh, with podcasts on TuneIn, you can now listen to things at double speed. So uh, let's uh, listen to Phantom Lane 4, our most recent episode. And there's Tesla Australia talking at two speed. And you quickly just um, just toggle between, you know, two speed, one speed, 1.25. Oops. 1.5 and two speed. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the walk away door lock option. So go to locks under settings and now you can click exclude home, which means that if you uh, park at home in a garage, the car won't lock itself when you walk away, which is quite handy if you need to access something quickly in your car. So the next thing I want to show you is that using the scrolly wheel on the uh, steering wheel using Tesla Theater, you can now start and stop using that uh, wheel and also uh, increase by 10 second increments or go back by 10 second increments as well and that's from the last software update all right so the last thing i want to show you before we go for a drive is the uh, camera system which has been greatly improved since the last update so now you can look at the rear camera the left camera and also the right repeater camera now these cameras are located very close to uh, the side mirrors. So you've essentially got real-time side vision as you're driving and parking, which is pretty cool. And I'll show you that a bit later on as well. And you can toggle between uh, just the rear camera or both cameras. And if you want to get rid of it, just scroll it down like that. All right, guys. Well, that is a rundown of the software update features for 2020.24.6.4. I think it's time to go for a drive. Let's go. And guys, of course, before we go for a drive, let's make sure all our autopilot settings are on, including navigate on autopilot, traffic light and stop sign control, and also full self-driving visualization. And I've currently got it on mild lane change setting as well as confirmation for lane change. All right, guys, so the first thing I want to show you is um, how nice it is to park with these cameras now. So, and as you can see, nice clear vision with uh, both repeater cameras there and um, see that as I par pull up right next to the curb you can see how close you can get to the curb now because you can see on that repeater camera in real time how close you are which is really nice very nice indeed all right guys so we're on the uh, Warringah freeway on the north side of the harbour approaching the Sydney Harbour Bridge going southbound 
Uh, I've got the repeater cameras there, as you can see. Um, I'm just going to see whether I use my side mirrors less because I've got these um, cameras now in view. I'm going to see whether I can use autopilot at the same time. Activating it now. Um, I guess one disadvantage of having the cameras there is that I can't see the route right there. Um, on the Model S and X, you probably could see the route because you've got two screens, but with the Model 3, you've only got the one. So, yeah, passing the toll booth now. And once I get past it, I will re-engage autopilot back on. And scroll it back up to 70. Ooh, what happened there? Interesting. Yeah, so it still wants to react to all the traffic lights. So yeah, a bit of a bit of a handful at the moment, I guess. I've got a few things going on uh, with the car. Um, we've got the cameras there. Okay, auto steer unavailable for now. That's fine. I think there was just too much going on for the car and for me as well. Um, but we'll concentrate on the repeater cameras for now. And I guess it wants to react to the traffic lights there next to me. But uh, a nice view there of the Harbour Bridge with the repeater cameras and the back camera and of course what I can see ahead of me as well. Cruise control still on. So we'll use that for the time being. Can I activate an uh, autopilot after I get off the bridge? Nope, still can't do auto steer for now. Yeah, it still wants to react to the traffic lights on top of the bridge there. Yeah, there is a lot going on with the repeater cameras there, I've got to say. So I probably wouldn't recommend using autopilot um, with the cameras on. Cruise control is still okay. You still got to um, clear the traffic lights though. I'll just slow down a bit here as we round this curve. And now on the um, Carl Expressway, we should get a nice view of the Opera House here on our left. Yeah, I guess this is only my first time using the repeater cameras, but I'm certainly uh, not not looking at the side mirrors. I'm still sort of rel relying on old habits for the time being, um, even though the cameras are showing me quite a nice view. And like I said, with, with the cameras right there, it's sort of blocking my view of the route. Um, I wonder whether you could split the screen a little bit. So you can still access the um, the navigation, but here we are on the um, in the city proper itself. So what I'll do is I'll just turn around here. Now turn right onto Macquarie Street. So just closing that for now. I might cancel that too. Whew! Yeah, that was um, certainly a lot going on there. And by the way, to access the cameras, just press that one. And you can slide down, cancel it like that too. Or slide up to turn it on. It's a nice, uh, nice graphics there. Left camera, right camera. Sliding up does nothing for now. Let's turn right here. We'll do a U-turn uh, at the turning bay down below at the Opera House. Then make our way back up northbound. Yeah, I reckon it's going to take a lot to um, to get me to look at the cameras uh, rather than my side mirrors for safety. I just think it's a little bit too far away from my line of sight um, for me to uh, rely on the cameras, or at least the video, rather than the um, side mirrors here. It's just, I've just got to turn my head and eyes way too much down there, as you can see, rather than um, just a quick glance to my right and left. Who knows, I mean, if I drive this more often, um, I might start to rely on on the, um, on the cameras. But having said that though, um, you know, the fact that uh, Tesla's showing you that um, the cameras can be looked at. What's this guy doing? It's gonna overtake him very slowly. There's the Opera House there ahead of us. Um, it means that, you know, it's just another preview to 
I guess more autonomous driving or or even robo taxi. It's just showing you that um, you know it can be done. Uh, the future is coming. That um, the cameras are seeing a lot as well. And I guess for parking, as you saw, it's quite useful. At low speed, you can see how close you are to the curb. Um, and that's something that Joy, my wife, was uh, missing in her um, old internal combustion engine vehicle. She had those cameras there uh, guiding her parking. And that's what she, that was the one thing she told me she missed um, with the Royal Mazda CX-5. But I'm, I'm very glad that now these cameras are available for her and anyone else relying on cameras to park. And look, I guess sometimes, you know, if it's a really tight spot, it's nice to have that vision as well. It doesn't hurt to have a bit more security um, as you're parking. All right, guys. Well, um, thanks so much for watching uh, this video. This is Software Update 2024.6.4. Uh, wow, these are getting a bit of a mouthful, aren't they? Lots of numbers for each update. Um, this is the main update I was looking forward to, the side cameras or side repeaters for parking real time and for driving real time. Um, and uh, if you like the video, I uh, really appreciate you pressing like. And uh, also, have you had a look at uh, this software update yet? Um, have you had to turn driving it a few times? If you have, uh, have you started to look at the cameras rather than the side mirrors? Uh, or will you still be relying on the, uh, on the side mirrors for now in your Tesla Model 3? Also, if you drive a Model S or X, have you driven with repeaters on and autopilot? Uh, has it been more useful because you can see the route on this screen, on the dash console, and then have the cameras there in the middle? I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe, and until next time, happy charging.